I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsness News, and here's your top headlines today, August 28, 2023. The City of Kingston and Kingston Police are welcoming both new and returning post-secondary students to the community, while reminding everyone to stay safe during move-in and orientation activities. The University District Safety Initiative will be in effect from Monday, August 28th at 12 a.m. until Sunday, September 10th at 11.59 p.m. According to a release from the City of Kingston, the purpose of the UDSI is to educate community members and to mitigate the risks of large unsanctioned gatherings, including strains on emergency services, dangerous behaviors, and traffic disruptions. During this time, community partners, including City of Kingston enforcement staff and Kingston Police, will have an increased presence in the University District, the City stated. With over 15,000 residents, it's hard to believe there's not a bus stop to be found in Greater Napanee. But that could all change pending a decision at the next meeting of Town Council. The report recommends that Council authorize a partnership between the Town of Greater Napanee and the Town of Deseronto, and more specifically Deseronto Township. This is to provide a coordinated transportation service that will benefit both municipalities. The public portion of the Ontario Land Tribunal hearing regarding a disputed use of property in Napanee came to a close Friday, August 25, 2023, with final arguments to be submitted in written form. The matter before the tribunal is R. W. Tomlinson LTD's appeal of the Town of Greater Napanee's decision to refuse an application to amend a zoning bylaw for a municipal property so that they can install a permanent asphalt plant there. Tribunal member Dale Chipman heard arguments and testimony from lay and expert witnesses over two weeks in what was often a combative show of lawyerly swagger. After two pairs of individuals were arrested in Kingston over the last few weeks due to drone activity at Collins Bay Institution, the CSC has issued a statement related to some of those events. The release refers only to contraband and or unauthorized items being seized at the institution between August 14th and 20th, 2023 and therefore does not refer to the second set of arrests made earlier last week by Kingston Police. The items seized included tobacco, cannabis, drug paraphernalia, cell phones, and cell phone accessories, the CSC said, noting that the seized items have an institutional value of approximately $145,000. From August 26 to 30th, 2023, Kingston area residents can take a walk in the park with a twist by attending Unearthed, a series of artistic installations, conversations, and experiments seeking to reveal some of the stories of Kingston's Bell Park. The events and exhibits will take place in Kingston, both at Bell Park located at 731 Montreal Street and at the Isabel Bader Center for the Performing Arts located at 390 King Street West. Next week, representatives from Mom Stop the Harm, the Support Not Stigma Initiative, and KFLNA Community Partners are commemorating International Overdose Awareness Day with an event at the Royal Canadian Legion Branch located at 734 Montreal Street. An event will be held on Thursday, August 31, 2023, marking the important date and raising awareness for the hundreds of thousands of people around the world who are lost to drug overdoses, as well as the survivors who suffer permanent injury with the devastating impact to their family and friends. On Friday, August 25, 2023, Kingston and the Islands MPP Ted Sue called on the provincial government to establish a commission under the Public Inquiries Act 2009 to conduct a full independent public inquiry into how the Ford government subverted democratic accountability to transfer $8 billion of wealth to private developer interests, as detailed in the Auditor General of Ontario's report, a special report on changes to the Green Belt. Earlier in the week, on Wednesday, August 23, 2023, the OPP announced they have asked the RCMP to investigate possible criminal wrongdoing in this matter. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingsness.com and subscribe.